out here today it's 28 degrees and my bees are flying so I guess I got to do this without a hive tool but I, I think I dropped it in the snow can't find it yeah these bees were hungry they are eating that sugar up they need them a lot more so it was 17 below one night when I got home from the Hive Life concert so that's my conditions <laughs> Well, at least there, those are alive yet. I don't see. I, well, here you can see. They hear a little bit of activity, and they're coming out. See how much sugar's left in that one. There's a lot of sugar in here. They're just up to the front there. They'll be okay for a while. If you're out in the cold, you won't be flying around too much. And you check to the snow here, eh? Don't get very far when they start flying. I got a couple smaller ones here that I put uh, a box of honey on top. I wonder if they're still alive. This one had a smaller cluster, so I don't know if they could survive that cold. I'll see what I got. I can hear them. Frost up on top here. Oh, nice cluster right there. A little cluster right there. All these frames have a lot of honey on them. So they're good. As long as they stay moving into the honey. And here, I got a couple nukes. I use them for uh, frames for my mating boxes. The one on this side swarmed out on me, but it did requeen itself, so that's in two. The other one's in three. I see live bees down on that one. And this one. I, I hear them, I can't. Yeah, I feel the warmth. There's sugar in there. I got plenty of sugar yet. Put them back together. This one doesn't have any insulation on it either, so just insulation on the snow is keeping that top warm. And here is one that I requeen with one of my new queens. So, and they got. I have to watch them pretty close. 
I've got a cluster of bees coming through the sugar here already. They'll be good on sugar for quite a while. Okay, well, I'm going to go off and check some of the rest. Probably just listen to most of them. <laughs> 